<clears throat> All right, it took me a minute to um, get back to you guys. I know I said it was going to be about noon, but we had to go on a rescue. This is our girl here, and she is, um, so this is her. She is absolutely gorgeous, and she does have some issues, as you can see here. She's blind in this eye, and uh, she does have a head tilt, and she does have some uh, neurological shakes. Uh, it's just a, a, it's, um, it's, uh, it's brain, and so, uh, but as you can tell, it does not slow her down. She wants to be a raccoon. She has that will to live, um, and so because of that, um, you know, euthanasia is not on our mind, um, and so she can... Um, as you can see, she shakes. Now, can she climb? That was one of our questions. Absolutely, she can certainly climb. She's climbing just fine right here. But because of her instability, um, she is at risk of injury from a fall. And so we're not gonna put her in um, anywhere that will cause her to injure herself because of her condition. So we're keeping her safe. Um, and um, we, are, we have started some supplementation that will help um, her neurological symptoms. We will see um, the as far as the process goes, uh, what improvements she will uh, have from uh, the supplementations that we're starting her on. Um, close your mouth, baby. Um, she is uh, looks almost like a cinnamon, but we'll see when she gets a little bit older. But she's got a little bit of red in her. Um, her disability does not slow her down at all, and. Um, so, and she loves to eat, as you can tell. Hold on. And I always get milk. I always get the milk stash, too. And she presses. Sorry, her new siblings next to her are going crazy because everybody wants to be first in line. But she gets to go first. She is smaller. And, uh, we start with baby babies and work our way up to the older babies. So, um... I'm watching for the armadillo. She's uh, trying to get in my feet. Let's wipe your mouth. All right, let's wipe your mouth. And so she gets she gets a little bit more than that, but we like to keep her uh, cleaned up. Now, I know everybody's wanting to know what her name is going to be. And let me pull up and see which one won. We have that Spin the Wheel app, and it is amazing. Um, and that way, it's... Uh, the winner is fairly chosen. It's, you know, based off how many people participate. And uh, let me feed her her last little bit. And then let's see who the winner is and who gets to, um, who officially named our raccoon. But as you can see the shakes here and you can see that tilt. So again, we're hoping the supplementation will help improve that to some extent. I do not have the answer as far as what her, how, much improvement she will get if any so we'll see um and we'll see how she does she's still really young and so i know baby she's probably about let's see there you go goodness gracious she was uh she came in the beginning of april at uh two weeks of age based on her weight so almost two weeks of age. There we go. So she's probably, you know, between four and five weeks of age. Actually more like six weeks of age. I can't do math. All right, baby. All right, yes, oh my goodness. So let me get her Bert. Just wanted to uh, introduce you guys to her and not just show a photo. Is she not a beautiful raccoon? She is still a pretty girl, yes. Unfortunately, Mama must have had a viral infection while uh, she was pregnant. And that can happen where it can cross, uh, it can cross uh, to the babies uh, before they're born. Um, if they're not born, stillborn, um, uh, then they can come out with some issues. And, you know, we don't know. It's, it could be a, the, the um, distemper virus, but, you know, we don't know. But... Um, that's, you know, that's possible. Our vet's coming by Monday to do an evaluation on her and see what we're, 
see what we're looking at and uh, we'll kind of go go from there but we'll keep you guys updated we appreciate everybody who is who's participated on naming her let's wipe that milk stash yeah let's come out with us wipe that milk stash get out of the trash thing just want you guys to see that beautiful face all right, let's see who won naming this beautiful girl. So let me look. Okay, guys, so with the Spin the Wheel app, we can we can choose the winner fairly. Um, and I love doing that because I love everybody participating in these animals and watching them grow and uh, while they're in care with us. The winner is Phoenix Rose. So this, I'd like to introduce you guys to Miss Phoenix Rose. And... That name will suit her perfectly. She is gorgeous. And uh, we'll keep you guys posted, uh, updated on her progress. Um, and we look forward to the vet coming out to see her. Dr. Hill, we love her. And, um, you know, does that feel good? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's precious. Yeah. So she's got so much energy. She's got that strong will to live. And so... Right now, again, euthanasia is not on my mind right now. If her quality of life is not um, is uh, is not affected or anything like that, obviously she can't be released out in a while. But uh, she can still have a good quality of life as of what I'm looking at right now. So, so we'll see. Um, she may have some restrictions and all of that stuff due to her disability. But um, as you can tell, it doesn't slow her down, and she just wants to be her best image of a raccoon. Yes, sweet thing. Miss Phoenix Rose, guys, thank you so much. Uh, we appreciate you guys uh, following us and uh, participating in naming her. So we're going to get her back up, get her a nap, and I've got to get these other ones. What did you try catching? Miss Dolly or Armadillo. All right, say bye. Oh, yeah, say bye.